Well, this week, Doge is bragging about saving $55 billion. But according to analysis from multiple news organizations, that number is wildly inflated. Did you know that the U.S. government is now running its sensitive data through AI and Elon Musk's team is behind it? Reports suggest that AI could soon replace thousands of federal workers, fundamentally reshaping how the government functions. If that sounds like something out of a sci-fi thriller, well, welcome to reality, because Musk's Department of Government Efficiency, Doge, is already making moves, and the implications could be massive. This isn't just another AI experiment. It's a full-scale attempt to redesign the backbone of government operations, something that could either lead to unprecedented efficiency or raise serious concerns about power concentration. So, what exactly is going on? And why are some experts warning that this could be one of the most significant shifts in modern governance? The government shakeup. Let's start with what we know. According to the Washington Post, Elon Musk's Doge team has already begun using AI to analyze federal spending and identify areas for cost cutting. On the surface, that might not sound like a big deal. After all, AI is already being used in finance, healthcare, and even law enforcement. But here's where things get interesting. This isn't just about AI helping human workers. Reports suggest the end goal is to replace many of them entirely. A government official tracking Doge's progress told the Washington Post that Musk's ultimate vision is to replace the human workforce with machines. That means fewer government employees and more AI-driven decision-making at the highest levels. If that sounds drastic, consider this. Donald Trump has already purged thousands of career civil servants restructuring government agencies to align with his policies. But while past administrations have reshuffled personnel, AI could make these changes instantaneous. Instead of hiring and firing employees, future leaders could simply adjust an algorithm, instantly altering how entire government departments function. This could be the last time a president ever needs to clean house. With AI running key operations, a simple update could dictate who gets government aid, which companies get investigated, and even how laws are enforced. All right, take a look at what Donald Trump posted on Truth Social this morning. Elon is doing a great job, but I would like to see him get more aggressive. Remember, we have a country to save, but ultimately to make it greater than ever before. The plan to replace civil servants with AI. AI in government isn't new. The Biden administration had over 2,000 AI applications in development across various agencies. FEMA, for example, uses AI to assess damage in disaster areas. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services deploy AI to detect fraudulent billing. These systems assist human employees, helping them process vast amounts of data. But what Doge is attempting is different. Instead of AI aiding government employees, it aims to replace them altogether. That's a massive shift. To understand why this matters, let's break it down. The U.S. Civil Service is essentially the backbone of government operations. These employees aren't just paper pushers. They're the ones interpreting and implementing laws, ensuring that policy changes don't happen overnight at the whim of politicians. For example, when Congress passes a new law, it's up to civil servants to figure out how to apply it in real life. That's why even when a new president takes office, it takes months or even years for their policies to fully take effect. But with AI replacing these roles, those delays vanish. A future president could instantly reshape entire government agencies with a single AI update. That means faster policy changes, but also a lot less resistance to potentially extreme decisions. The hidden danger. Here's where things get concerning. AI does not just process data, it makes decisions based on that data. And in government, that's a huge deal. Imagine this. A single prompt could restructure social welfare programs making it easier for some people to get aid while blocking others entirely. Immigration agencies could be told to prioritize certain individuals for deportation based on an AI-generated risk score. Regulatory bodies could be directed to investigate specific companies or ignore violations entirely. Normally, these types of policy shifts would require months of debate, public scrutiny, and legal oversight. But with AI, these changes could be implemented within seconds. And here's another issue. AI isn't perfect. It reflects the biases of the data it's trained on and the people who program it. If AI models running government operations are built by a select group of private companies, 
That raises an important question. Who controls the AI? This isn't speculation. AI has already been caught making discriminatory decisions in multiple industries. In 2018, Amazon had to scrap an AI hiring tool because it automatically favored male candidates over women. A ProPublica investigation found that AI-driven risk assessments used in the criminal justice system were more likely to misclassify black defendants as high risk. If AI can be biased in hiring and law enforcement, what happens when it's running government agencies? Musk's AI empire. Let's talk about the bigger picture. AI isn't just a tool, it's an industry. And right now it's controlled by a small number of tech giants with enormous influence. Elon Musk's XAI has quickly become one of the largest AI labs in the world. And unlike OpenAI, Google DeepMind, or Anthropic, XAI openly states its mission to develop AI that resists what Musk calls woke bias. Now that's a bold claim, but it also raises concerns. If Musk's AI models are shaping government decisions, what kind of ideological biases could be embedded in those systems? Big tech already has enormous sway over AI development. OpenAI, Microsoft, Google, and Anthropic have been meeting with government officials to discuss AI regulation. But the reality is, these models are built behind closed doors. Their training data, parameters, and biases are not publicly disclosed. And private AI companies aren't just designing these models for the sake of transparency. They have financial and political interests, and that could influence how AI-driven government systems operate. This isn't just a hypothetical scenario. The Chinese government is already developing AI-driven governance models, using automated systems to monitor citizens and allocate resources. In the US, we're seeing early signs of this transition, except instead of state-controlled AI, private companies are at the helm. If AI is going to reshape how the government operates, who decides how these systems work? And what happens when one billionaire's AI company has direct influence over federal policies? This is just the beginning of Doge's AI transformation. The real question is, will AI in government make things more efficient or will it give unprecedented power to those at the top? And if this change is happening now, what does that mean for the future of democracy? The global AI battle. While the US is moving toward an AI-driven government with little public transparency, other countries are handling AI governance very differently. Taiwan, Singapore, and Canada have all taken steps to integrate AI into their governments, but with strict oversight, public input, and transparency at the core. Taiwan has emerged as a global leader in AI-driven democracy. The country has pioneered the use of AI-assisted public deliberation, allowing citizens to participate in shaping government policies. One of its most notable initiatives is Taiwan, a digital democracy platform where AI helps moderate public discussions and synthesize citizen feedback. Instead of using AI to make unilateral decisions, Taiwan uses it to enhance democratic engagement, ensuring policies reflect public consensus rather than corporate or political interests. Singapore has taken a different route, investing heavily in government-run AI models rather than relying on private corporations. The country's national AI strategy focuses on developing AI systems designed specifically for public use, from smart city infrastructure to automated administrative services. Unlike the US, where AI development is largely controlled by private companies like OpenAI, XAI, and Google DeepMind, Singapore's AI is built within the government, making it easier to regulate audit, and ensure ethical use. Canada has gone even further in regulating AI and governance. The country enforces strict AI transparency laws, requiring government agencies to disclose whenever AI is used in decision-making processes. The Canadian government also mandates public consultation before rolling out AI in key services, ensuring citizens understand how AI impacts their lives. By prioritizing transparency and accountability, Canada aims to prevent AI from being used unchecked in critical government operations. The road to an AI-run government. With Musk and Trump leading the push for AI-driven governance, the big question is, how far will this go? Will AI simply automate bureaucratic tasks or will it eventually replace elected officials altogether? In the worst case scenario, future governments could operate entirely through AI, eliminating the need for human civil servants to interpret laws or execute policies.
An AI update could instantly rewrite government functions, leading to major consequences. Laws could be selectively enforced, targeting specific individuals or groups based on pre-programmed criteria. Mass surveillance and automated law enforcement could lead to instant punishments without human review. Elections could even become irrelevant if AI is programmed to prioritize certain political ideologies. The issue isn't just that AI might replace workers, it's that it could consolidate power like never before. So, will AI make government more efficient or more centralized than ever before? That's the debate happening right now. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.